Hey guys, there. Oh, hey. Landa. We are D&E &E Miniature and Board Games. So, got Mesmore a couple days ago, unboxed it last night, and played a couple playthroughs of it tonight to see how we liked it. Um, and as normal, you know, we're, we're going to throw out our review ideas. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with our reviews, we score on a 1 to 5. 3 being average, not good, not bad, just average. 5 being outstanding, 1 being crap. Uh, we have 5 different categories we score in. Graphics components, ru graphics and artwork, rule book, <laughs> components, replayability, and fun. I think we're tired. <laughs> we are. Oh, God. Uh... uh Tim always starts out with graphics and artwork. Um, it's a cool mini or not. It's everything pops, very colorful. Um, I was a fan of the Arcadia Quest and the, you know, the artwork with Inferno and pets and you know everything like that. So the art for me is it, it was great. So it got a it got a five for me. Glenda. It's a five. Perfect score. Beautiful. Wonderful. You know, I can't argue with them. Uh, it's cool many or not. They they put they, they pull out all the all the stops when they do this Everything. stuff. Everything. And I gave it a five. I, I thought the artwork and graphics were top notch. Well I mean, you know, at at last Simon, uh, out of all the games that were represented there. Arcadia Quest had its own entire village and mountain and everything. Yes, it did. Set up. I mean, you know, they've they've put a lot uh, into this into this series, and and this one doesn't fall short when it comes to the to the artwork. Now, rule book. I gave the rule book a three. Um, even. While we were playing the tonight, we were still flipping through it a lot. There's a couple things that I didn't feel were really clear in it. Um, it wasn't enough to drop it below a three. It almost did, but uh, I, I gave it a three. I didn't. I didn't nose into it as deep as you did, but I did. You know, I, I was reading through the setups and the you know how how gameplay works and stuff like that. I thought it read well. Um, always room for improvement in a rule book, um, but it took you, you know, it takes you through the begin phase to the end phase. Um, Explain things fairly fairly well. I, I gave it a four. I gave it a four. Um, I read it, and um, there there's a lot of examples to it too so that you know it's easier to understand how to play the game it's just there's so many things to look for oh wow there is you know there is. and that falls into <laughs> the imperfection of it you know it's just you're gonna have to look find out what if this happens so i mean they elaborated it they gave examples to it but it can never be perfect for this kind of game that's me components tim well, um, I was, you know, so just, <sighs> underwhelmed when I saw the dice for the, for the villains, um, but after playing, <laughs> I mean, it really, that went away. I said the fact that we don't have models for every little thing is completely fine. There's so many components, um, and and they're all you know easy to see, fun to look at. Uh, you know the tiles are even interesting to look at. You know they tell you what you need to know. It's a five. You know it's it's great stuff. Glenda. It's a five. Um, I don't know if I've seen a game like this with the tiles being used as, you know, you roll it and you put it there. That's your um, villain, you know. I like it. Huh? 
Dice. I said dice. You said, you said tiles. tiles. Oh, did I say tiles? Okay. Well, the <laughs> tiles are perfect too. We're all tired. I mean, <laughs> we are tired. But yeah, the components, it's beautiful. It's inviting. I think there's no age limit to it. Kids and older. It, it just, it's cool. <laughs> Uh, I gave components a four. Bastard. I think for me the the dice kind of hurt the component score. I would have rather had figures for the creatures. Aww. I understand why they did it. Um, and that's why I said it's a we do have game. good stock on the cards, and the tiles are good thick, are thick, and they're not warping. They're smaller than yeah, like a zombie right. side tile. And the, the, the Arcadia Quest figures, you know what, they're always great. But, I don't know, I just, uh, I, I couldn't get past the stickers on the cubes for the creatures. I, it, I it just bugged I mean, me, and I gave it a four. I absolutely understand why they did it. Um, there's different. A, well, not only different, but there's a potential for you to get a lot of things on the board. Correct. Yeah, I know. Correct. You know, non-conventional <laughs> figure monsters. It's still, hey, it's still this got, is wait, really original. I like it. You don't have to beat up on me. It's still got a four. It's still above average. <laughs> but because it's these are awesome. Be like us. <laughs> All right. So listen, I gave replayability a five. Uh, oh, definitely. The dungeon can go any which way because you build it while you go. Um, <laughs> Uh, cool men are not thought enough to do a crossover box so you could cross over all the characters from all the Arcadia they quests. Do anyway. <laughs> you've got so many characters to choose from. You've got the 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 only place that it, it seemed uh, to lack what needed more was the treasure cards. The yeah. Mesmore treasure cards. I think they could have had more, but that didn't really affect my five on it. Yeah, because you know yeah. once you start recycling them, correct? Yeah, you know so. Yeah. You're gonna run across what I, I gave replayability somebody a five. else had, yeah. Uh, I, I was a five, straight up. Five endless possibilities. <laughs> uh, fun, Tim. Uh, I had too much fun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, we've been talking about it since right. since he received it. Um, I'm not, you know, when when given the opportunity to play. Uh, a game for fun, Arcadia Quest isn't one that I pick. Um, I did enjoy Inferno um, when we played through it at CMON. Um, I enjoyed it more than I did the original Arcadia Quest just because it was based in hell. You know, Metalhead, who would have figured, right? <laughs> um, but for me, this one mixing, um, you know, all the versions of Arcadia Quest, all the characters, all the enemies, um, plus it's a build as you go uh, map. I loved it. Uh, the fun is off the charts for me. Uh, this is definitely one of those that, uh, you know, with Spinal Tap, I would turn it up to 11. Especially like the fact that you can screw each other, right? During the game, right? Well, I mean, that, that's, that's what Arcadia just... Quest is about. This is what makes this five. <laughs> it's messing with but the other for him, That's what's, what, what makes this five. Glenda, what was your score? I gave it a four. I like it. It's fun. It's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> much. I love it. It's, it's, it's a four. Um, I gave it a four as well. Uh, I liked it. It's fun. <laughs> um, I think think it will stand the test of time with us. It'll be one we pull out like we used to with Zombie Side a lot. Yeah, probably pull this one out um, more than more than I would Arcadia Quest or that's it, you know, until we get Inferno. Well I think too though that when you pull this out it's it's quick. Mm -hmm. It sets up quick, it runs quick, it, it's not something that's really Yeah, you set too, up more you spend more time. <laughs> no, I think um, another thing that, that adds to the fun for me is the fact that You've got one character versus the three that you normally get with, with, the, with the, the normal yeah. Arcadia Quest games. Um, you get the one character, and everybody gets to play the dungeon master after your character moves. 
So that's your opportunity to mess with everybody else. To go after everybody else. And that's why, you know, it's a twist on something we already know. I kept getting confused with a lot of stuff from Arcadia Quest, you know, rules and things like that that are different in this one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, some, yeah, once, definitely. yeah, it was like one of those, once you freaking, you know, got it in your head that this is how it does. Uh, yeah. I was having I was having more fun with this than I have with with most of the other Arcadia Quest versions. So, in this whole thing, one of us gave a three, and everything else was fours and fives. <laughs> um, total score, folks, four point five. Always got to be one. That's always got to be one. <laughs> uh, total score, four point five. Uh, remember, guys, support your local gaming. We support. Discover games. Discover games. Wow. Get some enthusiasm, guys. <laughs> well, I'm just wondering. Discover games. I'm just wondering because I'm looking at the battery compartment on the camera. That's open. Yeah, so it would stay cooler. <laughs> so the battery's in there? The battery's in there. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Discover uh, okay. games. Discover in, uh, games. In George. Across from the pavilion. Next, next to Harbor, Harbor Freight. Freight. As always, guys. Game on. Do what you gotta do, folks. Game on. Wow. Oh, I thought the top is game on for you. Really? <laughs> you say wow, you don't even say it. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Keeping things fresh.